Okay. You seem to have enjoyed our previous study session so much that I decided I would show you some katakana this time. So let me tell you a bit about it first. It's one of the three Japanese writing systems. We went over hiragana last time, and I've shown you some kanji already. So this one is very much like hiragana. It has all of the same sounds and the same number of characters, but they all just look a little bit different. And it's kind of like lowercase and uppercase letters in English. You know, it's like the same thing, but they just look different. But katakana is used for uh, a lot of things, but mainly foreign words and, you know, like words from English or something, as well as like sound effects or emphasis or really a lot of other things. Uh, it can get kind of crazy. Um, but anyway, this list was somewhat of a project to put together, mostly because I really didn't want it to just be a list of English words said in a Japanese accent, because I don't know, that didn't feel very entertaining or educational or anything like that. I also didn't want it to be a bunch of Japanese words that you can write in katakana, but usually are written in hiragana or kanji, because that didn't feel very accurate. Um, so I wanted it to be words that were, you know, really katakana words. And I also didn't want to include, like, really obscure words that nobody will ever use, like nanotechnology, nanotechnology, or something like that, because, yeah, it just didn't feel very helpful. Um, and I didn't want to include words that were, like, uncomfortable or offensive or, like, just not relaxing in some way. So that cut out some words. So all that is to say uh, that I didn't quite succeed at that, but I tried my best to find a good variety of words that uh, should be interesting. So we can start with our first word here, which is for the character Ah. 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 And I'll write it like this. And the word is Akseru. Akseru. And this is a word relating to cars. Can you guess what it is? That's right. It's the gas pedal. It actually makes more sense than that. It's short for accelerator, I'm pretty sure. Um, so, yeah, it's the accelerator. Uh, this is an example of uh, what they call in Japanese, wase ego, which is English that's made in Japan, is kind of what that translates to. So, it's like an English word that kind of got repurposed and has its own kind of meaning in Japanese. So that's the kind of word that I was really looking for, for this list, but I only found so many of them. But anyway, next character we have is E. I'll write it like this. And the word I have is ira ira. Ira ira. Ira ira. Which is annoyed. Japanese is very fond of onomatopoeia, and this is one of them, even though annoyed or being annoying doesn't make a sound. Well, I'm sure sometimes it does, but it's not always ida ida. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that's, that's a word. So we'll go to the next character, which is U. U. And here it is. And the word I have here is Uinka. 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 Which is another car word. And it means blinker. So, not winker, but blinker. Okay, we'll 
food dish that is rice in an omelet, usually topped with like ketchup or demi glace sauce. It's really good. It's served for omelet rice, so that explains that. Okay, so now we can do the K syllables, starting with ka. 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 So I'll write it here. And the word is kamera, 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 which is camera. That was another thing is I didn't want to include words that were just an English word for a word that also exists in Japanese, like they have a separate word for it, because that didn't feel super accurate to tell you, like, oh, uh, I don't know, I don't have an example, but to say that, like, yeah, here's a Japanese word for something that just gives you an English word when they would most likely use some other word instead. But camera, for example, is a word where uh, they actually do say kamera, and there's no other Japanese word for it. So, next we'll do ki. 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 And so this word. So this word I have is keyboard. 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 Which is a keyboard. I think computer keyboard. Uh, it, maybe it'll work for piano keyboard. I'm not super sure. I know the word for piano is piano. So maybe you just say that instead. <laughs> so now we'll do ku. And I'll write it here. And this is yet another car word. A lot of car words are katakana words. But the word is kurakushon. 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 Which is the horn for the car. This word totally freaked me out when I saw it. I was like, how do you, how do you get that? What, where, is, where did that come from? But apparently klaxon is an English word that refers to like a siren. So yeah, that's that's where that came from. Blew my mind kinda when I read that. But anyway, next we'll do ke. 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 And I'll write it here. For a word, I have keki, 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 which is cake. And finally, for the K syllables, we have ko, 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 which looks like this. And the word is kohi. Kohi, kohi, which is coffee. So now we'll do the S syllables. So first we have sa, 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 sa. 
and here it is. And the word I have is Sarariman. Sarariman. And I think this is the word people are probably familiar with. It's salaryman, which is like a Japanese person who works at a company and does basically only that ever. Lives like a sad life, kind of. <laughs> it's a depressing word, maybe, but... Uh, yeah, that's what I have. So next we'll do... She... 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 And... I'll write it out here. Nice little smiley face. And the word I picked is shop penshiru. Shop penshiru. Shop penshiru. Which is like sharp pencil, but it means mechanical pencil. You know, the kind that you push the lead out and whatever. So then we'll do su. 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 For this, the word I picked is supa, 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 which is short for supermarket. Oh, and here it is, I'll write it out. Yep, okay. And then for set, set. It looks like this. And I picked the word Seta. 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 Which is a sweater. And to wrap up the S syllables, I have So. So. And I'll write it out here. And the word for this is soft cream. Soft cream. Soft cream. Which is just soft serve ice cream. Very tasty. Okay, so now we'll do the T syllables. So we'll start with ta. So for this one, I picked tacos. Oh, here, I'll write it out. And then, yeah, the word is tacos. 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 Which means tacos. Could also mean taco singular. Japanese doesn't really differentiate plurals all that often. So, uh, tacos one or many tacos. It doesn't really matter. Especially because if you just say taco, that's the Japanese word for octopus. So, kind of helps with the confusion. So next, we have chi. 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 It's written like this. And the word I have is cheese, 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 which goes very well with our tacos. So that's cheese. So now we have tsu. So I'll write it out here. And the word I picked is tsuita, tsuita. Twitter, the website. You'll kind of notice this one looks a lot like she, but the difference is these little two dots here are pointing down in tsu, and in she, 
they kind of point to the right or up or something. But yeah, they, they're very slightly different, but you kind of get used to it. So now we'll do te, 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 te. And here it is. And the word I picked is tension. 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 Which is another one of these wase ego words that means like excitement. So you might say like, oh, the tension's going up, which is to say, you know, you're getting excited. You know, if you go out with a group of friends for karaoke or something, you might try and get the, you might say like, oh, let's get our tension up or something. So now we'll do to, 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 and this one's very simple, here it is, and a word for this is toramp, 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 which isn't what you think it is, it's a playing card. You know, like your ace of spade kind of thing. I'm not sure exactly where this came from, but I seem to remember hearing that it's like Trump was a popular card game in Japan that you would play with these cards. So they just got their name from that. But don't quote me on that, I'm not super sure. Alright, so now we can move on to the H syllables. So first is ha, 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 ha. And I'll write it out here. And like a true American, I picked one of my favorite foods, which is the hamburger. 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 Which is a So then we'll do he, 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 and right out here. And I picked another onomatopoeia for this one, which is he saw he saw he saw he saw. whispering. So, very appropriate. So, we'll do fu, and here it is. Fu, fu, fu. This one was tough because I had a hard time finding any words that started with just fu and not bu or pu or fe, or fi, or all the other variations of fu, because there's a lot. It's a, a bit of a weird character, because in this category, it's like all the H sounds, but this one isn't hu, it's fu, so it's like an F sound. So there's a lot of words that start with F that are katakana words that use some variation of this that isn't just plain fu. But all that is to say, word I picked is France, 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 which is France, the country. Basically all countries in Japanese are pretty much just the same as the English ones, but with katakana pronunciations. So it's not like there's a ton of um, countries that have special Japanese words, although there are some like China is Chugok, and which is, you know, the classic Chinese Middle Kingdom kind of thing. And then Korea is Gangkok, which I'm not quite sure what the kanji means, but it is written in kanji pretty often. I'm sure there are a couple other ones, but most of the countries that aren't kind of near Japan are all katakana. Like America is America, for example. And of course, France. 
So now we'll say he. Move on to the next one here, which is he. And it's pretty simple. We'll write it out here. And the word I picked is heto heto. Which is another onomatopoeia for exhausted. And finally, for the H category, we have ho, 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 which looks like this. And this word is crazy. But it's Hochikisu 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 Which is how you say stapler in Japanese I think it's named after someone I think that's somebody's name And now the N group First is Na it out here. And this is a silly word, but I picked nuggetto. 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 Which is nugget, like a chicken nugget. <laughs> okay, now we'll do ni. Ni. Here it is. And this is a, another onomatopoeia word for smiling. And the word is Nico Nico. Nico Nico. Nico Nico. If you've heard of this website called Nico Nico Doga. It's a popular Japanese video streaming site. It's like YouTube. It's kind of crazy because they've got the comments uh, that like fly across the screen. I don't know if you've ever seen videos like that. But yeah, that's Nico Nico Doga, which is like smile videos. <laughs> Very wholesome. Okay. And then next we have Nu. Nu. And the word I have is Nunchuk 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 Which is nunchucks Okay And then This one is Ne Ne Write it here. And I picked the word netto, 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 which is internet or net. And then last we have no, no. It's really simple. It's just this one stroke. And the word I picked is noto. 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 Which is a notebook. Okay. So now we have the M group. Starting with ma. Here's what it looks like. And the word for ma is mansion. Mansion. Which is another wase ego word, which means apartment. There's also another word, uh, apato, 
which also means apartment. I think there's some difference, but I forget exactly what it is. Um, but yeah, mansion isn't a mansion, it's just an apartment. And then we'll do me, me, me. And here it is. word for me is minto, 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 which is mint, the flavor. You could have maybe minto soft cream. Okay, we'll do mu, mu, mu. And I have another onomatopoeia for this one, and this one is Muki Muki. Muki Muki. Muki Muki. Which is muscly. Very like buff, strong. Okay, then we'll do meh. Here it is. And for a word I have make, 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 which is short for make up or make up. And then we have more. And here it is. So this word I have is mosaic, 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 which is mosaic, but it's used more often to describe like, you know, the censorship. So like if you have somebody's face in your video or whatever, you to censor it out, then you would use a mosaic or, you know, anything else you might need to censor out of a video in Japan. <laughs> um, yeah. So with that, we can move to the R syllables. So the first one is radio. Well, the first one is da, ra, da, which looks like this. Radio, radio, which means radio. So then we'll do me, or excuse me, D, D, D. And it looks like this, very much like the hiragana. And this word I picked is. Redux, 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 which means relax. They don't really have a Japanese exact equivalent for the word relax. They have like rest or taking a break or just general enjoyment or calmness or something, but none of those are exactly the same as relax or relaxing, so they have this uh, import word, nidux, for relaxing. So then we'll do du, 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 and it looks like this. And I picked the word duke. Duke, Duke, which is the rook in chess, to kind of go with the other video I made. So then we'll do re, 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 
write it out here. And a word for today is restoro. 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 Which is a restaurant. I think there is probably another word for this in Japanese, but a, as far as I can tell, this is more common. At least I've seen it more often. Next is ro. 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 Looks like this. Just a big old box. And a word for this is robotto. 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 Which is a robot. Okay. And now we have the Y sounds. So starting with ya. 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 Which is what it looks like. And a word for ya is yanki. 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 Which doesn't mean American or Yankee, like we would maybe use it here, but it means delinquent. So, like, you might, um, when I think of this word, the person I think of most, or the show I think of most, is like Yu Yu Hakusho. I think. The characters in that show would be described as Yankee, but I'm not really sure. Anyway, just trying to come up with an example. Then we'll do you, 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 you. I'll write it here. What I picked for this was Yumoa. 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 Which means humor. And last for the Y syllables is Yo. 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 And I'll write it here. And the word I picked is Europa. 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 Which is Europe. And then lastly, we have just a couple of miscellaneous characters. So, first one we have is Wa. 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 And I'll write it here. And I, this one was hard to find a word for, but this word was really interesting. So I picked Y shots. Usually it's written with the English letter Y, but you know if you were to spell it using only katakana, it would start with Y, because it's Y shots. Y shots. So what this is is it's like a standard, you know, button-up dress shirt, the kind of thing that you would collar and you'd wear with a tie and all that kind of thing. I originally thought it was called a Y shirt because like if you look at the buttons and the collar together, it kind of looks like a Y. But apparently that's wrong. It's called a Y shirt because of the English pronunciation of white. kind of sounds like Y. And so they would call it a Y shirt or Y shots. They're not always white, so you might often, you might hear Japanese people say, like, a blue Y shirt, which, if it comes from white shirt, doesn't really make any sense. But I'm, I'm absolutely rambling here. This word just, I don't know, I'm getting stun locked. But anyway, that's for Y, y shots. Y shots. And finally, we have the character N. Mm. Mm. And here's what it looks like. And 
like in hiragana, there aren't any words that start with this, because if they did, they would just be, they would start with any of the N group, like na, ni, nu, ne, no, all that stuff. So, this character's just by itself. So, just like with hiragana, there are other sounds you can make with these characters. So, uh, for example, in the K group, if you add two little dots to the top right hand corner of any of these characters, instead of ka, ki, ku, ke, ko, you get ga, gi, gu, ge, go. Likewise, for the S characters, instead of sa, shi, su, se, so, you get za, ji, zu, ze, zo. So, Z sounds. For the T characters, instead of ta, chi, tsu, te, to, you get da, ji, tu, tsu, te, to, da, ji, tsu, te, to. And for the H characters, you would get ba, bi, bu, be, bo. So, B characters instead of H characters. And then with these, there's an extra thing you can do. You can add a little circle to the top right instead, and then you would get P characters. So you'd get pa, pi, bu, pe, bo. And then, if you take, there's like a, a lot of stuff you can do when you combine characters. So uh, you can take these Y characters, and add little small versions after any of the other characters that end in I to get a different combination. So for example, uh, if you do ki and then a small ya next to it, you don't get ki ya, you get kya. Same with shi, you can get sha, shu, sho, and chi, cha, chu, sho, hi, kya, hu, hyo, all the way down the whole rest of the list. And then for fu, you can also add little vowels to the side of it. So instead of fu a, you can get fa, which doesn't have its own character. So if you're, you know, porting a foreign word into Japanese and you need a F sound and it doesn't end in u, then you would do that. Yeah, there's the, this tsu character here, uh, same as in hiragana, if you make it small, then it represents a pause in the word. So like, for example, uh, earlier I said tsuita, that little pause after the i, tsuita, that's this small tsu character, so represents just a small little pause. And then finally, there's also this elongator character, which is just a straight line, and that basically just makes the vowel sound longer. So for example, in noto, it's not noto, it's noto, because there's a elongator in the middle. But okay, I think that about summarizes everything. I don't think I actually missed anything this time. Last time I had to add an edit to the description to make sure I covered everything. But I believe that's all the sounds you can make with katakana characters. And that's all the katakana characters um, written out for you. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned some new words or something. And most of all, I hope you feel relaxed and you had a good time watching this video. Okay. Good night. Good night, good night, good night, good night. Oyasumi. Oyasumi. <laughs>